Warren Evans, if you'd come to the stage now, please. Warren, I'm going to turn it over to you for just a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, the man behind D3TV, Mr. Warren Evans. Well, thank you, Bob. It's my pleasure to be up here tonight to uh, help with the awards presentations. It's almost a full house, but it's not a full house till Red Band's in the house, right? <laughs> He's always got to make an entrance. <laughs> All right, it's my opportunity to talk about the JEG Super Quick Series. 2017 marked the 29th season of the JEG Super Quick Series. And once again, it was a dramatic finish. It came down to the final event of the season before the championship was decided. Six racers headed into the final points event of the season with a mathematical chance for the crown. One of the special features within the series is the quick fuel technology shootout. The year-end race at Indianapolis features the season's top eight qualifiers based on points. Our congratulations go out to our Quick Fuel Technology Shootout winner, Jeremiah Hall. In 2017, a total of 74 different competitors earned points during the four-race season, and tonight we will take the opportunity to recognize the top three. First up, in third place, it's Devin Eisenhower. Devin started out the season with a semifinal showing in St. Louis. He qualified for the Quick Fuel Technology Shootout, made it to the final, and wound up as your third place points finisher. From Lebanon, Indiana, congratulations to Devin Eisenhower. She coming up. Okay. The runner-up this year had a number of late round finishes and was just a round out of the top spot heading into the season finale. Your JEG Super Quick Series runner-up from Centralia, Illinois is George Atchison. And now let's welcome to the stage your 2017 JEG Super Quick Series champion, Mike Eggleston. Mike and Tammy making their way up here. Mike made it to the winner's circle during the season opener at Gateway Motorsports Park and headed into the season finale at Lucas Oil Raceway with the points lead and left as your 2017 JEG Super Quick Champion. It's Mike and Tammy Eggleston. Those of, us, those of you that know us know that Mike basically does everything. He works on the car, he cooks, he drives, and I'm really only good at a couple of things, doing burnouts and talking, so I'm happy to stand here tonight in front of all of you. Um, we would like to start off by congratulating all of the champions. We know that all of you that are here tonight have put in countless hours and sacrificed a lot to be here. We know what it takes to win a championship or to even end up in the top 10 of anything in NHRA, especially in Division Three. With us running JEGS this year, we want to give a special thanks to Jegs. Um, you can check out Mike's black and yellow tie because we are proud to be sporting the Jegs colors tonight. We appreciate everything that Jegs does for Jegs Super Quick and also for all of the things that Jegs does for all of the sportsman categories. We also want to thank NHRA and especially thank Michael Lance. Michael was just fantastic this year with the Jegs series and everything that he was involved with. Everything ran really smoothly, even two o'clock in the morning at Gateway, it still ran really well. And and we appreciate all that NHRA does for us all the time. We want to thank Danny Nelson at Racecraft Chassis for building our wonderful chassis. We've had four cars and we love our Danny Nelson um, dragsters all the time. He's also a great friend, always available for great advice, and he's probably the only top dragster driver that does not tow his car to the staging lane. So Danny is a special friend and a great driver. Yeah, let's give a round of applause to Danny Nelson. 
We also want to thank Charlie Hama at Digital Delay for all the great electronics on our car. And of course, we want to thank all of our Tough Paw Racing Products customers. Without the www.toughpaw.com customers, we won't be able to do what we love to do. Every race team has special friends and family members that help them along the way, that makes the losses not quite so bad and the wins a lot better. We want to thank Mike's parents, Mike and Carol Olson, for joining us tonight to celebrate. And of course, we want to thank my parents, Dan and Wendy Hedges, for their support over the years. They were at every race, always willing to do whatever it takes. We want to thank my dad for helping us build engines that can run this series. And really, I want to thank my mom and dad for taking me to the racetrack when I was just 10 years old. And I still love this sport 40 years later. I can't imagine doing anything else. Mike and I are so pleased to be here tonight. We hope that all of you have many win lights next year. And we want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. And let's have a great 2018. Thank you. Congratulations, Mike. Our thanks to Jag's High Performance and the Coughlin family for their continued sponsorship of the series. We're looking forward to the 30th anniversary in 2018. The series will be expanded. It will be a seven race series for 2018. We would also like to congratulate Troy Coughlin Sr. on his 2017 Pro Mod Championship and his retirement. So, that's right. Let me step back and turn the microphone over to Jeff Conley. 